Now, let me discuss about the indirectly acting drug that is modafinil. So, if you take this particular modafinil, modafinil is approved for the treatment of narcolepsy. Right? Narcolepsy is a clinical condition which is characterized by irresistible sleep. So, for the treatment of narcolepsy, we use this modafinil. And where all we use this is, in those individuals who are shift workers, right, where they can have the early morning sleep. Next, this particular modafinil is also used to relieve fatigue in multiple sclerosis, right, to reduce fatigue in patients with multiple sclerosis we use this modafinil all right next this is also it is used as an adjunct in patients with obstructive sleep apnea right adjunct in obstructive sleep apnea so these are all the clinical conditions where we use this modafinil. So modafinil it is used in the treatment of narcolepsy in shift workers. This modafinil is used to reduce the fatigue in patients with multiple sclerosis and it is used as an adjunct in obstructive sleep apnea. Next. Next after having discussed about the directly acting and as well as indirectly acting sympathomimetics. Now let me tell you the mixed action sympathomimetics. Right? Mixed action sympathomimetic drugs. Now, so if you take this mixed action sympathomimetics drugs, that means they are having mixed action. So, what they do is number one they will enhance or they will increase the release of noradrenaline right they will increase the release of noradrenaline like indirectly acting drugs and apart from that right and apart from that they also activate right apart from that they also activate alpha and beta receptors directly right apart from that they also activate the alpha and as well as beta receptors directly so that is the reason why they are called as mixed action sympathomimetics in the sense they are in increasing the release of the noradrenaline along with that they are also activating the alpha and as well as beta receptors directly now let me tell you the examples in this group so if you take the examples in this particular class like we have ephedrine right we have ephedrine and then we have another drug which is called pseudoephedrine right we have another class which is called as pseudoephedrine now this particular ephedrine and pseudoephedrine where are they used right remember they are used in cold as nasal decongestants right they are used in patients with cold as nasal decongestants right and not only that they are also used as the bronchodilator action Right, they are also used as bronchodilator action. Now, you take this particular ephedrine. Ephedrine, it is used in the treatment of bronchial asthma because it has a preferential bronchodilatory activity. So, it is used in the treatment of bronchial asthma. Now, not only that, it is the vasopressor of choice 
in pregnancy right this is a very very important point this ephedrine it is the vasopressor of choice in pregnancy okay now let me tell you why this is considered as the vasopressor of choice in pregnancy because because there is beta 2 receptor mediated vasodilatation right because due to beta 2 receptor mediated mediated vasodilatory action so thereby what is the advantage remember this particular ephedrine because of beta 2 receptor mediated vasodilatory action it does not interfere with the placental circulation this is a very very important point right this particular ephedrine will not interfere right will not interfere with the placental mediated does not interfere with the placental circulation right does not interfere with right does not interfere with placental circulation whereas you take the other drugs like methoxamine mifentermine and other non selective alpha 1 agonist they can cause the placental vasoconstriction and they will compromise the fetal circulation okay so the other alpha 1 agonists they will compromise placental circulation right they will compromise the placental circulation that is why these drugs are not used so the vasopressor of choice in pregnancy is ephedrine because they will cause beta 2 receptor vasodilatation and that will not interfere with the placental circulation so this is about your mixed action sympathomimetic drugs so mixed action sympathomimetic drugs they act by increasing the release of the noradrenaline and along with that they also activate the alpha and as well as beta receptors directly the examples what we have is ephedrine and pseudoephedrine they are mainly used in treatment of cold as nasal decongestants and as well as they also have bronchodilatory action ephedrine it is used in the treatment of the bronchial asthma and it is the vasopressor of choice in pregnancy because of beta 2 receptor mediated vasodilatory action it does not interfere with the placental circulation whereas other drugs like methoxamine mefentermine and other selective alpha 1 agonist they can cause the placental vasoconstriction and they will compromise the fetal or placental circulation that is why these drugs are not used so this is completely about your sympathomimetic drugs